welcome to the In the Church TV and radio broadcast where we are shining the light of God's word in the church to discuss and resolve real everyday issues that are taking place around the world throughout the nation exposing the good, the bad, and the ugly as we engage in powerful conversations with our expertise, opinions, and revealing everything through the truth of God's word on every topic imaginable. And so we thank you for joining us in the church on tonight. I am your host, Apostle Deron Shay Zorn, and I'm a Excited to be with you on tonight in the church. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God in this place in the name of Jesus. We just bless the name of the true living God that we are in another dynamic episode of the In the Church TV and Radio broadcast we bless the name of jesus of how he is just loving on us in the church my god my god revealing unto us my god the word of truth the word of power my god a word of deliverance a word that sets us free and i am honored to be with you in the church on tonight um dynamic people of god hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god oh my god god is so awesome he's amazing y'all go ahead and just give god glory in the church on tonight go ahead and just praise him just because who he is he's wonderful he's magnificent he is the king of glory he is your strong tower he's your prince of peace he's the lover of your very soul my god in the majestic name of jesus hallelujah glory to god hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god in this place in the majestic name of jesus glory 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 to the most high god the one and only true living god throughout the earth amen in the name of jesus our father our creator my god my god my god my god hallelujah you guys know that we have been in a powerful series um in the in the church tv and radio broadcast we have been dealing with identity crisis amen um glory to god and, and so we have a couple of more um episodes to deal with to dive into um glory to god today we're going to go to the book of exodus exodus chapter three so you guys get the word get your get your bible so that we can um dive and see what god is saying and see how we can overcome this identity crisis that we have amen glory to god it was never intended for us to have an identity crisis uh, have be, be in a, a state of identity crisis within the earth. That's why God made us in his very image and his likeness. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. And so we should not be confused about who we are. We should not be confused about, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, um, our identity and how we are made and how we are created. We should not be living lives in these broken states and these broken pieces. Uh, my God, because of, of who, amen, of whom we were designed, amen, um, from, amen. We are made in the very image and likeness of God. And, and I'm telling you, you have to go back and li listen to um, episode one that really breaks down being made in the image and likeness of God and what that means unto the church, what that means unto you in your life. Amen. Glory to God. You're made in his image and in likeness so that you may have, you may walk in dominion, authority and power that he given unto you, that you may walk in dominion and subdue the earth that you're made in his image and his likeness so that you may be fruitful and multiply my god glory to god when you understand that you are created my god in the mere reflection of him you would understand what it is that you walk in the anointing that you walk in amen glory to god that everything on earth recognize who you are because you come in the same spirit of the lord amen it's creator my god um, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. But but nevertheless, nevertheless, um, people of God, you got to go back. You got to go back. Um, episode two, 
Amen. Um, glory to God. We kind of really broke down um, King Saul and we dealt with uh, the identity crisis that he was going through. And um, even before he accepted kingship and how his identity crisis affected him as king. Right. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so on today, um, we're getting ready to um, look at Moses and hopefully we'll get a chance to get over to Joshua as well. These great men of God and we're going to see how they may have started out with an identity crisis. They they may have started out in a place where they were questioning um the call of God upon their lives but amen glory God there was some shift there was a shift in their mind there was a shift in their heart that took place that uh, that put them in a position to accept the call amen and walk out the call of God with boldness in obedience amen um un unto the Lord for their lives amen in the name of Jesus glory to God and especially when we talk about that prophet Jeremiah my God um in the majestic name of jesus but nevertheless before we dive into this word we got to go to prayer we got to go in the word of prayer amen hallelujah thank you jesus so let us take it to the throne of grace oh gracious lord we thank you for meeting us in the church on tonight we thank you, O oh Lord God, for the listeners coming from the north, the south, the east, and the west. That even as we convene, O oh God, in your presence, Lord, we decrease so that you may increase in this place. That you may take over the airways, O oh God. That, that you may take over, O oh God, even my voice. And that you will begin to speak um, exactly what it is that your people need to hear. Words of activation and penetration that will transform the atmospheres. That will break down, O oh God, the wall. Of, of deception that have caused men to be hiding oh God from who they really are in the majestic name of Jesus that on tonight oh God that people are set free healed and delivered and they may rise up in the power of your word and that it will be your word oh God that will begin to destroy the yokes in their lives that have caused them to walk in places of falsehood Lord in the majestic name of Jesus we thank you on tonight that falsehood will die we thank you on the night oh god that falsehood will flee father in the majestic name of jesus we thank you on tonight oh god that it would have no longer have control over the lives of your children in the majestic name of jesus oh holy one of israel you are so absolutely amazing hallelujah thank you lord you are amazing we thank you lord god that it is your word that's going to wash your people that's going to purify oh god um in the name of jesus your your children's mind oh mighty god that it is your word oh god in the name of jesus going to sanctify your children so that will no longer oh god live in a place of falsehood in the majestic name of jesus hallelujah Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. My God, my God. You are so amazing. You are so wonderful. You are, my God, magnificent. We thank you for breaking the strongholds, the strongholds, the strongholds off of our lives, Father, in the majestic name of Jesus, Father God. We thank you for being our rock and our, our peace and our, our present help, oh God, in this time of need. We thank you, God, for such a time as this, that you are governing your prophetic word over our lives, that you would not allow us, oh God, to stay, oh God, um, to, to stay, oh God, covered, oh God, in falsehood. We thank you, Lord God, in the majestic name of Jesus, that right here, right now, oh God, in this day, that you, oh God, that you call forth, that you brought forth those who need to hear what it is that you are releasing to the church on tonight in the majestic name of Jesus. We thank you that this is about to be, oh God, a, a life-changing experience for someone somewhere 
in the world, Father, in the majestic name of Jesus, that on tonight they're going to know that you're speaking directly to them in their heart, in their ministry, oh God, and that the ministry will emerge and the business will emerge and that they will begin to grow, oh God, in stature and wisdom and in might according to your power, oh God, through your very word, in the name of Jesus, glory to your holy and righteous name. You are amazing, God, and that in which you're, my God, you are unleashing, oh God, and into the lives of your people, Father God, hallelujah, because you said that your word will not come back unto you void, but it shall prosper in our lives in the way that you've sent it. And we thank you on tonight for the prosperity of your word being activated in our lives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, so that we may walk in the full measure in which it is that you have called uh, forth in us, oh God, from that you called, oh God, forth in us from the womb of our mother, oh God, the very things, oh God, that you wove uh, together on the inside of us uh, when you oh god was knitting us together in the womb uh, the very thought of oh god that you had about us oh god uh, when you were putting together oh god the plan before the foundation of the world and so we thank you that this night is ordained we thank you oh god that this night have been sanctioned that this night have been planned uh, lord god my god hallelujah thank you jesus before the foundation of the world oh god so that your people will be set free that the captives will be free oh god that the the walls that are that have been broken, oh God, that they're gonna be repaired on tonight, where the enemy would no longer be able to infiltrate, Lord God, the lives of your people, that, that the enemy would no longer be able to come and place your people in strongholds, oh God, with the lies and the deception, because they shall know the truth, and the truth shall set them free, and they shall rise up in your glory and rise up in your power, oh my God, in the majestic name of Jesus, that they shall become the living word. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, glory to your name, Father. Yo, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, you are awesome. Hallelujah, glory to your holy and righteous name in this place. Almighty Father, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for just dwelling in the midst of us. We thank you that we have the attentiveness of your he ear and your heart, oh God. We thank you for arresting us in the Holy Ghost right now, God, in the name of Jesus, so that your will can be done in our lives in the majestic name of Jesus. And so how we give you glory. And so how, oh God, we give you praise. And it is in the majestic name of Jesus that we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. To God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. <laughs> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. God be hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to your name. My God, my God. Oh, how we just bless the name of the Lord Jesus. In this place and in this people of God. We bless God. We bless God. We bless God. Um, go ahead and do me a favor. Go ahead and share this broadcast on your social media platforms, dynamic people of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Also on tonight, um, we're going to open up the lines. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I just, uh, amen. Um, that is just in my spirit on tonight. Um, people of God. And I'm going to try to remember that since we have it not done that in a while. Amen. I'm um, glory to God. But we're going to open up the lines on tonight, um, people of God, as well. 
um, amen with questions, comments, and also any prayer requests that you may have. If you are um, on our platforms where we're able to communicate or we're able to get instant communication from you, if you're on the In the Church um, website at inthechurch.com, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, you should be able to interact with us right there in in the broadcast um, right there um, in your list where you're listening. I think you should be able to do some comments there. Um, if you're on the Spreaker platform, you can communicate with us there. Amen. Glory to God. Or if you're on our Facebook social media platform, you can definitely have instant communication with us there as well. And so we can also answer your question, comments, or prayer requests from there um, as well. Um, dynamic people of God, I will... Be mindful on today to keep my eyes, to keep my eyes, people of God, um, on the platform. Amen. Today, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. But we definitely have um, some powerful um, nuggets to release um, in the church on tonight. Amen. Um, in the name of Jesus. And so, um, blessed be the name of God. Um, that number to dial in is 563-999-1824. Amen. Glory to God. And that'll bring you right into the studio, um, dynamic people of God. And we will get you on air with your questions, your comments, um, or even your prayer requests. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Um, glory to God, my God, because we're just here to take care of the Father's business on tonight. Amen. Amen and amen. Um, so um, we thank you so much for those who are sharing. We will also do our um, top three country shout out on tonight. Amen. So go ahead and get um, those that you know on the line. Get them on the line so that your country will be shout out. Will that your country will be shout out on tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for being in the church with us and the work. Amen. And the work that you are doing to help spread this word abroad. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And so we bless the name of Jesus for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so we just thank you for the work. We thank you for the work. We thank you for the work my god in the name of jesus glory to god and so we are dealing with um identity crisis in the church amen everywhere we look amen if we go into the house of god amen and uh, we're looking on we look at social media amen and we look at the, the behaviors and um, the, the way that the people at large, the church at large, those that profess Christ at large, it's not everybody, amen, glory to God, but when we look at it from a, a, a global perspective or, amen, um, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, or a greater collective, we see a lot of identity crisis that is taking place, that there are a lot of individuals that are operating, performing um, from, from a state of mistaken identity, amen, glory to God, as they're not walking in the fullness in which God has called forth in them in their life, amen, um, in the majestic name of Jesus. And so we've been doing this series to identify Amen. Um, glory to God. The issues, the areas, the things that that we are dealing with in the church, um, where we have accepted falsehood, and because we've accepted falsehood, the lies and deception. Amen. Glory to God. We're not able to walk in dominion and authority that God has given unto us. That's why people can come into the church one way and leave out the same way or even worse. Amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because there is so much form of godly men within the body of Christ that we're, I, amen, so many, so much form of godliness that we are denying the power. And because we are denying the power of God, we're dealing with a major identity crisis. It's in the denying of the power of God that we lose 
lose our identity. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Because it is in that in the power of God, it's where our image, amen, our identity lies as we are made in his image and in his likeness. God was very, very strategic. My God, when he made humanity, my God, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. So dynamic people of God, I thank God for the ride that we have been on as we've been going through this series. This is part three. Amen. This is part three. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. And so we just thank the true living God in this place. Amen. In, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whew, hallelujah. 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 It, it is so much to discover in this word that's dealing with identity crisis. Oh my God. Somebody help us in this place. Um, amen. But but we just bless the name of the Lord where he's taken us. So we I told you earlier we're going over to the book of Exodus going to the book of Exodus and we're going to take a snapshot and we're going to look at Moses for a moment amen as we deal with the identity crisis there are there are a few set of scriptures that I do want to release in your ear gate on today to, to get you started to keep you in a place of keeping these particular these particular areas in the text before your heart and in your mind that they would stay before you Amen. I'm um, glory to God as we continue to go through this series. Amen. Um, in the majestic name of Jesus. So hope you have your pen and your paper. Amen. Um, glory to God. Come when you come in the church, we got we gotta come prepared, ready to amen. Grab the nuggets of God. Get 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 the word of the Lord and get into some homework. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the very first text I want to make sure that I put in our ear gate is this. Genesis 1, um, chapter, um, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And, amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Starting at verse 26. And I'll let you know where I finish it. The word said, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he Created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and to do with it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. And even down in the and I stopped at verse twenty eight. Amen. But even um, the, the other verses down there, it just really gets in the reason why. I told you guys the reason why in episode one of this series of, amen, why God created us in his image and his likeness. You got to go back and listen to that. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let me get you over to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter four. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, glory to God. I want to get this in our hearing um, as well. Dynamic people of God, because if we're going to come from under the identity crisis um, that is taking place in the church, we got to first know our identity lies, and then we have to understand that must be a transition that take place, amen, um, in our lives dynamic people of God hallelujah thank you Jesus glory to God amen amen and amen so let me go here in the word of truth so the word says 
Ähm, nee. Therefore, this particular version would be close to another version. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Um, amen. Thank you, Jesus. The word of the Lord is verse 25. It said, therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor. For we are all members of one body. What I want to focus here is that, therefore, each of you must put off falsehood. Amen. Glory to God. Let, hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Let me back up um, to Ephesians 4.22 um, and 23. It said, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood. I, I want to emphasize right there. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood. My God, in the name of Jesus, uh, glory to God. And so as we just begin to set this tone, amen, it, it, is, it is vitally important that we understand what falsehood is. Falsehood is the state of being untrue. Oh, my God. Just grab, grab a hold of that. It is the state of being untrue. My God. Um, oh my God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Falsehood is um, something that corrupts relationships. Amen. I, I want you to just give a thought for one moment. Amen. Before we go into this lesson, and glory to God, thank you, Jesus. Um, I want you to give... A thought for a moment how many relationships have you built based upon pretense or based upon that which is not true amen glory to god thank you jesus i, I want you to meditate on that or gi give just give one thought to that for a moment amen because when we build relationships off of a pretense, we corrupt, amen, uh, we, we, we bring forth a corrupt relationship and we cause our relationships to be faulty, amen, we set up relationships to fail, amen, glory to God, when we move and we operate and we connect with one another in a place of pretense and so he said look you gotta put off the falsehood amen glory to god thank you jesus if you gotta be fake and phony amen um just for somebody to like you or for somebody to be your friend or for you to be able to hang around in their particular circle i'm just gonna encourage you today right now amen glory to god them just may not be the people that you need to be around that that, that may not just be the people amen um glory to god of of, of influence that um, that God desired for you to be before people of God. If, if you got to be in a place of falsehood or pretense, amen, even when it comes to um, the, the other a relationship as far as um, a, a marriage or you're, you're, you're courting to be married, if you can't just be you, Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, you, you want um move or operate in a place of a deceiver. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Of someone who is being deceptive um to some um one else. My God, you've been deceptive, and He just told us, look, we had to put off um our old self which is being corrupted by his deceitful desires. We know, we understand that it is the adversary, right? Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It is the adversary, the devil. The word tells us that he was a murderer from the beginning. 
He does not stand in the truth. There is no truth in him. He is a liar and the father of lies. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and, and you are not. You do not belong to him. You, you are not one of his children. The word also tells us in the book of Colossians, um, Colossians 3 and 9, do not lie to one another since you laid aside the old self with its evil practice. Many of us are walking around in this place of, amen, of falsehood because we have a mistaken identity or we're moving in an identity crisis because we are trying to be something that we're not to try to uh, please somebody else. Um, Somebody got to help us in the church. We Jesus got to, amen, hallelujah, glory to God. He got to re- gotta really do some work in, in, in our lives. We got to let him in, amen, so that he can, he can change our hearts. He can change our minds. He can, amen, we can come into the understanding of who it is that we really are. He said, look, if you ask, if you lack wisdom, if you ask them for it, he'll give it to you. Amen. Ask God who you is and let God, who God say you is, be the final authority in your life, people of God. My God, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. We're going to get to Exodus in a moment. Amen. Glory to God. We just have to flow with the Holy Ghost for a moment. My God, in the name of Jesus. So it, it, the word, I'm going to repeat that again in uh, Colossians 3 and 9. It said, do not lie to one another since you laid aside the old self with its evil practices. Amen. You got to lay aside. We got to pull off, put off. Amen. Glory to God. The old man with its evil desires with its evil practices people of god we should no longer be walking around my god in the name of jesus glory to god operating in the old nature when we're when we professing jesus christ and in him we should be a new creation amen in the name of jesus glory to god so we're told to put away truth. Ephesians told us to, I'm sorry, Ephesians told us to put away falsehood. Amen. Let me correct that. Um, he told us to put away falsehood and speak the truth. For we are, amen, glory to God, members of one another. For we are all members of one body. My God. And so we got to put off falsehood and speak truthfully, my God, to one another dynamic people of God. We got to get this thing in order. We got to get it right. The psalmist said, amen, and in Psalm 119, he said this. He said, I hate and despise falsehood, but I love your law. My God. this place help us in this place amen in the name of jesus this one last scripture i'm going to just bring before us before i transition us over i just want us to hear what the scripture is saying about um falsehood amen in the name of jesus glory to god Um, i'm going to switch us over real quickly to Proverbs um, chapter 6. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs 6 verse 12. Go ahead and get us started there. And this is what whew, the word said. Mm-hmm. And the word and I'm reading from the NIV I'm not the NIV, the New King James Version people of God. And so this is what the, this is what the word said. This is the word. Amen. This this is not the apostle. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so the the word of the Lord reads this people of God. It says, "A worthless person, a wicked man walks with a perverse mouth." Mm. He winks with his eyes, he shuffles his feet, 
He points with his finger. Perversity is in his heart. He devises evil continuously. He so discord. My God. My God, my God. Therefore, his calamity shall come suddenly. Suddenly he shall be broken without remedy. This is what verse 16 says. The six things the Lord hates, yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devised wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speak lies, and one who sows discord among the brethren. My God, my God, my God, my God. Um, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. And so we, 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 we see the heart of God as it relates to um falsehood, lies, and deception. Amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so with understanding God's heart and where he stands, people of God, we got to function the way that God does. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. So... I don't know, God, God wanted to lay that out to us on tonight, uh, people of God, before we dived into Exodus chapter um, 3. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And so and we so we thank God for the word. So what we're going to do before we get into Exodus, um, people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we're going to take a break. Directly after the break, we're going to come back with my god and we're gonna break down this exodus three and we're gonna see the identity crisis that moses was in and and that it was going through and how he handled it how he recovered from his identity crisis amen that he was dealing with dynamic people of god my god in the majestic name of jesus we will be right back in the church dynamic people of god in jesus name amen amen and amen all right i'm up Stop. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't just need him to move. Amen. Right now in a situation and in a circumstance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He has the power of dynamic people of God and he can move right now. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, I call out to the Lord and he delivered me from all of my fears amen he's able to deliver you from all of your fears your troubles your struggle whatever it is that you are going through dynamic people of god because god is just faithful like that in the majestic name of jesus glory be unto the one and only true living living God. Amen. I'm in this place in the majestic name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God for all that he has done for that in which, amen, he's getting um, ready to do for our lives. Dynamic people of God. He's amazing. He's wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. We just bless the name of Jesus in this place. Hallelujah. 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 My God. In the name of Jesus. My God. The other song that we heard, it said, Amen. We're running out of time. Amen. Glory to God. And in that running out of time, it stands for root. Amen. Um, glory to God. It, the acronym is root. We're running out of time to get our life right amen we're running out of time amen glory to god we don't have all this this time to try to get our identities in order to try to create our own identities or allow others to continue to live under the identities that others have created for us people of god for such a time as this it is time amen that we will um come and live in the identity amen in which we have been created in the image and in the likeness of our holy god amen hallelujah of our savior of jesus christ my god in the majestic name of jesus we've been given too much Hallelujah. We, we've been given too much, amen, um, to live in, in the states and the condition that we have, which is beneath our identity, dynamic people of God, in the image and the likeness of Christ, my God, in the majestic name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, amen, amen, and amen, glory to God. So here we go in the book of Exodus, people of God. Let's get into the word. Exodus chapter 3. I do want to thank you guys for sharing this broadcast on your social media platforms. I am Apostle Deron Shea Zorn. Um, amen. I'm the founder and the host of the In the Church TV and Radio broadcast. And it is a delight to have you with us on today. So we're going to jump on in into the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We're going to um, start at around verse 11. Amen. And we see in the word of God, for those that are familiar with the text, we have Moses. Um, he is before God. Amen. He seen the burning bush. He began to acquire about it. When he got over there, he realized, amen, glory to God, that that was God. Hallelujah. Uh, um, there. And so, as he began... Um, to dialogue as he came closer God said God called unto him amen glory to God and, and, and Moses said well here am I here I am 
Amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, um, and, and God began to talk to him. He told him to take off his sandals. For where he was standing on was holy ground. Amen. And then he began to let him know that he is uh, the God of he said, I am the God of your forefathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses became afraid. Amen. Um, at that point, he became afraid. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then he, God began to talk to Moses about the things that Israel was going through. He said, look, I've seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I heard their cry um, because of the slave drivers. He said, I'm concerned about the suffering. So I've come to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptians and, and, and bring them up out of this land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, I've heard their cry. It's reached my ears, and I've seen the way that the Egyptians have been oppressing them. And he said unto Moses in verse 10, this was the commissioning of the call into Moses' life. He said, so now go. I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. And this is where it all began to go down, people of God. We, we now begin to get into this dialogue or conversation between Moses and God. When Moses began to, amen, bring forth excuses on why he could not serve. The one and only true living God. When we have an identity crisis, when Amen, glory to God. One of the mar another mark, Amen, the show that we have an identity crisis is that we will make excuse excuses on why we cannot serve God. So let's look at Amen, the prophet Moses here. The word um, the word says in verse 11 of chapter 3 of Exodus, it says this, But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? My God. Hallelujah. Here is Moses. Amen. Um, being commissioned by God. But here we find him rejecting. He's in a place or in a, in a, in a mindset of rejecting God. Because why? He's like, who am I to go before Pharaoh? He felt insufficient. He didn't feel sufficient enough to be going before the king of Egypt. Even though the king of all kings was commissioning him to do a thing. How many of us have rejected the call of God because we didn't feel adequate enough to do the work that he was calling us to do or go before the people he was having us to call to go before. Amen. Glory to God. That is amen, a, a, a direct uh, identification that or, or indicator that we have an identity identity crisis. Amen. Because if we understood that we are made in God's image and in God's likeness, we wouldn't feel um, that anyone have a greater seniority or, or, or in us or they are much higher than us. Um, amen. Glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. Why? Because, amen, we would understand that we're all made in the image and the likeness of God. We may have different titles. We may serve in different capacities and things of that nature. Amen. Glory to God. We may be on different economical scales and, and, and all those other types of things, but when everything is stripped away, my God, in the name of Jesus, glory to God, we are all still the same. 
And we should never be in a place where we feel that we don't have the adequacy, amen, to approach someone else. When we do, we may want to begin to examine ourselves and say, where is, where is, where is that place that I am having my identity crisis in? There's an identity crisis in the land. My God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. And so we're in that place where you are questioning yourself. That is a place, amen, hallelujah, glory to God, that you don't live, operate, move, amen, in the true identity in which God has called forth for you in your life, people of God, in the majestic name of Jesus. My God. Moses fighting against The call of God for his life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I remember, amen, hallelujah. Amen. Even in this this walk, amen, glory to God, because I I dealt with some identity crisis. I dealt with identity crisis because of my upbringing. Amen, glory to God. People told me... um, things that they said that I was but I really was not so they fed me a lot of lies and deception and and those lies and deceptions begin to shape my life they had begun to shape my identity until I came into this relationship with God and I began to find out who he was and then in turn I began to find out who I was, amen, in him, amen, in the name of Jesus, um, glory to God, and so, um, people of God, amen, there's so many people who have been in this place where Moses is, and there's so many people who are currently in the place, amen, we, you are in a place where you're just being very rebellious, where you're thinking up a hundred and million one excuses on why you can't go and do the thing that God has called for for you to do. And, and that's because of the identity crisis. Because when you understand that you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you, oh my God, hallelujah, glory to God, that you begin to build this mindset that you can do everything. You, you become very courageous. Amen. Um, glory to God. You become very courageous. Amen. You, I mean, my God, your courage be your 1,000. My God, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. So here Moses feeling very inadequate. He's feeling insignificant. He's feeling incapable. He's feeling unqualified for the call. He said, who am I? Whenever that thing right there, who am I that I should go? My God, those, those, that sentence, that question by itself speaks much volume. And then he began to compare. I mean, you're saying, God, that I can go. You want me to go before the king? You want me to go and deliver Israel out of Egypt from slave? You that's what you want me to do. My God. And so God had to tell Moses, even in the midst of his excuses. In the midst of feeling inadequate, in the midst of feeling unqualified, incapable of doing the job. Amen. God do not want our excuses. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Because the mere fact that he called you to do a thing 
He's out, he already know you're qualified for it. He already know that you're adequate for the job. He already know that you're capable to meeting every requirement that's going to be necessary in the assignment. Why? Because he's the one that created you. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and, and we got to understand who God is and the way he is and the way that he operates. We are more than enough. We have everything that's necessary, um, people of God. And so God just tell Moses... Amen. In the text, he tell him um, this in verse 12. He said, I will be with you. Praise God. He said, I'll be with you. That's a, that's a great promise to know from God. That when he called us to a place. Amen. He let us know that. I'm going to be with you. He said, I'm going to be with you. So let's talk about this, amen, glory to God. Because you got, when we look in the word of God and we look at, amen, um, the commission of, of a lot of dynamic uh, men of God in, in, in the word, amen, those that God had commissioned, um, that he was commissioning over in, in the word, we hear him say that those same pacific words i'll be with you we know the text tells us that it, he said that he'll never leave us or forsake us and god is telling Moses, my very presence is going to be with you and god is saying to us my very presence is going to be with you and so what did that mean that that God himself amen will equip Moses or have equipped Moses for the journey that God would give Moses whatever he needed to complete the assignment and and I'm gonna say it this way that he that any everything that Moses needed for the assignment his yes is gonna activate Amen. His yes was going to activate, amen, what God had already placed on the inside of him. Just like your yes is going to activate your yes to the word of God for your life. Amen. Glory to God. It's going to activate, amen, glory to God, what you need. Hallelujah. Glory to God to complete the assignment. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And even in that place, when you begin to put yourself in a place, amen, and I understand God give us assignments that's like way too big for us to begin to try to comprehend, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But this is the key. Even with these great assignments or the grand assignments, amen, um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Only thing you have to do, depend on the Lord. Depend on the Lord. Amen. Here, uh, Moses is being a uh, promise by God. Guess what? I'm going to lead you. I'm going to guide you. I'm going to work everything out on your behalf. I just need you to trust me. God is over and over and over again in the text, um, always letting his children know your presence. My presence is going to be with you, my God. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Here in the book of, of Genesis, God is talking to uh, to Isaac. And he tell Isaac, Isaac, I'm with you and I'll keep you wherever you go. And I'll bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We know, amen, glory to God. Oh, over in the book of Joshua, he tells um joshua in joshua chapter one look no man ain't gonna be able to stand up against you all the days of your life as i was with moses i will be with you i will not um fail you nor forsake you or depending on what version you're reading i will not leave you nor forsake you Amen, in the name of Jesus. So he tell him that in one, and then he come back in, in chapter one of Joshua. Then he come back and he reiterated in Joshua three, which he had already spoken to him 
about it in Deuteronomy 31 and 23. So he gives Joshua this promise three times. God tell Jeremiah the same thing in his commission. He told him, I will be with you and deliver you. Amen. Um, glory to God. He told him, don't be afraid of their faces. I am going to be with you to deliver you. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody should be being encouraged that the spirit of the Lord should be stirring up in you, knowing that God is with you. Amen. That he will not leave you or forsake you. And as he has signed, placed the assignment upon you, that it is going to activate what's on, that's all that which is on the inside of you and give you all, unleash everything that is required so that you can fulfill the assignment. It's just waiting for you to say yes so that it can be activated, no longer lying dormant. Amen. God promised Israel to be with them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. When God sent the prophet Haggai um, to go back and talk to Israel and so they can get back on rebuilding that temple, he let them know, my God, I'm with you. Say of the Lord. You got to understand God is with you. Also, when we was given, amen, glory to God, when Christ gave us the great commission, amen, glory to God, he said, look, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So we have the promise of God's presence in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. The second part of that, it said, mm -mm -mm. I will be with you and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God on this mountain. Mm. Now he's letting him know that what I'm commissioning you to do, you're going to be successful. He said, this is going to be the proof that I called you to do this because this very mountain you're going to worship me on. So he's giving him that foreknowledge that you're going to be successful, Moses. My God. My God, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. God was calling for Moses to believe in him. Believe that he was calling him. Amen. Believe that, amen, that he would be with him. To believe that he would be successful, amen, in the commission, in the assignment that he called forth in his life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So here we go. Even with Moses getting the promises of God, amen. Moses was not still in a place where he just wanted to just take God at his word because he was dealing with some issues. Amen. God, he had an identity crisis going on in his life. And his identity crisis could have came from, amen, glory to God, could have been reared from his upbringing, could have been reared from, amen, glory to God, his, his childhood, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, glory to God. I mean, it could have been, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. Also, due to the fact that he'd been hanging out in the wilderness for about 40 years because he had to leave Egypt because Pharaoh wanted to kill him because he killed one of the Egyptians because of what they were doing to the fa to his fellow Israelite, amen, to his brother, amen, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Identity crisis. It's an identity crisis in the church. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. So, 
Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So l- let me also say this before I switch or transition over to the second excuse that Moses had. I want to say this to us people of God so that we'll understand. Look, in our own right, in our own strength, in our own might, we would never be sufficient, capable, or adequate to serve God, to do the work that God has called for for us to do. It cannot be done in the absence of him. And so when you're looking to do it in yourself, yes, you're going to be incapable. You're going to be inadequate. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When when you want to do it in yourself, listen clearly, when you want to do it in yourself, you're not going to be qualified. Because you can't handle things of the kingdom operating and functioning amen glory to god thank you jesus in the mindset of the world it just is it's not gonna happen or in the power in the might of the world it's not gonna happen amen glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah that's why we had to put off our old self that's why the we had to be renewed in the attitude of our mind even right here amen god is talking to moses to, 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 amen so he can be renewed in the attitude of his mind hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god so let's go to verse 13 so verse 13 um here go moses with his second excuse okay so he says suppose i go to the israelites and say to them the god of your fathers Have sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? Then what shall I tell them? My God. So here here in the text Moses is like okay Moses was in a mindset rather that he wasn't convinced that the people even knew who God was if they truly knew who God was he felt as if they were, um, as if they they was ignorant to the fact of who God was in their life, who or uh, ignorant to the fact that who was the true one and true only living God, because of the conditions in which they had been living. Amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And that they had been in 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 Egypt, right, for um, over four hundred years. They had been well, almost four hundred years. They had been in a place of enslavement and been tortured. Amen. I'm going to God. So in his mindset, you know, he he probably like you know the people in Israel. They don't have a thought about who you are and and things of this nature. Um, amen. Glory to God because. They've been going through this for years and on top of years and and no one showed up. So in his mindset, what he was saying was, amen, glory to God, that there may be some distortion in the relationship between Israel and God. And so he wasn't confident. Amen, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Moses knew that when he went before the people, he knew that he said, look, they're going to question me. They're going to question me. Number one, who sent me? 
And then if they didn't and, and if they didn't know their God and their relationship with God was broken, neither would they know that God had the power to save and deliver them from under the bondage of the Egyptians. So Moses just like, look, I just can't go up to these people. He said, hey "Amen. What what if they ask me? What is his name? What what if they ask me? Who sent me? What should I tell the people?" He said, "Tell them that I am who I am." Amen. He said, "I am who I am." This is what you say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. To tell them I sent you. Now, how many times, if we be honest with ourselves, because we're dealing with identity crisis, that when God has called us to do a thing, people of God, we, we just don't move. Because we don't know if the people are going to accept us. And this is the other place where Moses is. He don't know if these people are going to accept him. Accept him and what it is that he's saying. Accept him and what it is that he's doing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory God. He just don't know. And so it's, it's a very risky um, situation for him. And, and it's a very and it's very touchy to him as well, dynamic people of God. And he's already dealing with an identity crisis. He he don't want to have to, amen. He he don't want to feel rejected. He's have already had to deal with that in his life. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so he don't want to feel rejected by those who hear he's going to serve and we've been in that place if, if you would just be honest with yourself people god and this is what we have to be honest and we do those self-examinations some people may be in that place right now i don't want to be rejected and because amen i don't want to be rejected i'm not going to move and do what it is that god has called me to do because this such and such ain't going to accept it such and such going this this particular person or these particular people gonna question who I am, what I'm doing, what God you know, and all these other type of things. And and that's just the nature of human. That's what they're gonna do it. Amen. But you gotta be confident enough in God to move in the boldness and in the power of his word that he's spoken for your life. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. You have to take on that level of ownership in your relationship with God, people of God. And not allow anything to minimize you. Yes, these Israelites, they had been serving other gods as well. But um, the point here, people of God, just take a moment and think, am I not moving in what it is that God has called me to do? Because I am concerned about the people questioning me, about who sent me, who called me. Uh, am I concerned about those who are going to accept me? Am I concerned if other people, what other people are going to have to say about my call? And if those type of things have hindered you from, from moving, there is an identity crisis. That's an identity crisis that's going on on the inside of you. Because when you know that you're made in his image and his likeness, amen, when he calls you, you move. You're just an obedient child. Amen. We ain't worrying about who going to go. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. You ain't worried about, amen, if they're going to believe you or not. Only thing you worried about is pleasing the Father. Your concern then becomes just pleasing the Father. 
in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Even when Jesus came, he was questioned. The servant is no greater than the master. We're, we're no greater. We're, we're, no, we're no greater than him. If they did it to him, of course we're going to be questioned. Of course we're going to be denied. Of course they're going to persecute us. Of course they're going to talk about us. Of course they're going to slander us our name. Of course they're going to do so many different things. my God and so God tell Moses he said in verse 16 he said go assemble them elders I'm paraphrasing right now y'all Amen. he said go and assemble the elders of Israel and say to them the Lord the God of your father and the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob appeared to me and said I have watched over you and have seen what have been done to you in Egypt and I made my promise to bring you up out of your misery in Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. A land flowing with milk and honey. And he said, look, he was and he was giving Moses like so many plays. He said, then he said, look, they're going to listen to you. Amen, glory to God. And... Then you and the elders are to go to the king of Egypt. And he gave him the instructions to go and speak to Pharaoh about he will let him know that guess what? Pharaoh is going to Pharaoh gonna be stiff neck. He's after the maker. He's the beginning and the end of all things. He already knows. My God. Over in chapter 4. Y'all, we got to end the excuses. No more excuses. No more excuses on why we're not walking in our in our in the word that God has called for in our lives. We got to get in this word. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And find the place and space in the word. The time in the word to write. The time in the word. Amen. To do what it is that God has called for for us to do. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus. So, in four, it said, Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Moses said to God, What if they do not believe me or listen to what I say? Oh my God. And, and they say that the Lord did not appear to you. My God, hallelujah, my God. And so now God got to, amen, begin to perform some signs and wonders for the people. Amen, glory to God, for the people. Like, it's here, he, again, he's dealing with that rejection, the fear of being rejected by the people. Are you afraid of their faces are you afraid of what others are gonna have to say about the things that God has called for for you to do mm. in the name of Jesus glory to God so here we go so he, he felt that the people would deny his call and his and his purpose. He felt that the people uh, would, would not believe that the Lord had appeared to him. He, he, he was afraid. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. That the people would not believe. Amen. Um, that, that he was called forth. That God is sending forth freedom in their life to free them from slavery amen in the name of jesus glory to god and you know in this in this very very reason or for this very reason people of god this is why amen a, a portion in my book amen hallelujah abortions in the church divine strategies to spiritual deliverance 
I deal with, amen, um, the areas of fear. In the spiritual abortion chapter, I deal with the different forms of fear that we come up against. But most importantly, how do we come, how do we overcome those fears, amen, in the name of Jesus, glory to God, um, amen. How do we overcome those fears, dynamic people? Of God, because that that's vitally important in our lives and for our lives as well. Amen. Um, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. I'm gonna get here in a in a moment. I'm gonna go over to the book and just deal with the type of fears and then what scriptures that you need to go to. Why? So that you can be be encouraged in the word of the Lord. But even now, Amen. Glory to God. As I'm as I'm making my way there amen hallelujah thank you jesus um take this scripture to heart god did not give us the spirit of fear but a one of love power and a sound mind amen hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god uh, um place that that right there um in your heart dynamic people of God hallelujah thank you Jesus glory to God where's our next one amen amen hallelujah thank you Jesus glory to God I think this is under preventive method amen yes here we go Hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, the word tells us that God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. And so we have the fear of failure. And we can always take Joshua 1 and 8. Amen. Glory to God. That declares that we'll always be successful that we will be successful it said meditate on my word day and night so that you will be successful in all of your ways um we have philippians 4 and 13 you can do all things through christ that strengthen you failure is not an option when you're in the kingdom of god also people of god we deal with um you have to overcome the fear of the unknown amen we got to dwell in the secret place we got to dwell in the shadow of the almighty Amen, glory to God. We got to just be obedient to what it is that God says, according to Hebrew 11 and 8. We got to overcome the fear of people, those who are fear of people. You got to stop man-pleasing. Stop, amen, glory to God. Stop man-pleasing and please God. Please God, amen, according to 1 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Stop regarding man over the word of God, Isaiah 2 and 22. Stop regarding man over God. You got to get over the fear of pain. You got to fix your eyes on Jesus and not deny the word of God. Job 6 and 10, six, Job six and ten. do not deny the word of God. Um, second um, Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 through 18, fix your eyes on what is unseen you got to overcome the fear of death um no one can stand up if god be for you who can be against you romans 8 and 31 we have psalms 27 and 1 make god your strong hold um, um revelation 2 and 10 be faithful and obtain your victory's crown um psalms 20 um 23 fear no evil Amen. We got to overcome the spirit, the fear of rejection. Trust in the Lord. Proverbs 29, 25. Um, know that you're approved by God. 2 Corinthians 10 and 18. And there's a host of other things. We deal with overcoming the fear of ridicule, overcoming the fear of disappointment. And, and all those things are like, my God, know that perfect love casts out all fear gotta learn how to come and sit in the will of god in the presence of the lord people of god in the majestic name of jesus my god my god my god hallelujah
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We just bless your name. God, the true. The one and only true living God in this place. Um, in Jesus' name. So here we are in the Word. Here we are. Here we are. Um, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so God asked them, what's in your hand? He said, a staff. He replied, and the Lord said, throw it on the ground. Amen. And when it went on the ground, it turned into a snake. And then God told him to pick it up. When he picked it up, it turned back into a staff. Right? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. But here we got this Moses. <laughs> God is showing him his power. God even deals with the, oh, amen, glory to God, having to put his hand inside of the cloak and, and take his hand out. And it came out in leprosy. And he had to put it back. And, amen, oh, my God, oh, God. And it come back in, and it's, and it's back restored and all these other things. But here he go again with his, in, with, with his um, um, identity crisis. Here we go again. Here, 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 here we go again. My God, um, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Verse 10 in chapter 4 of the book of, of Exodus. Amen. So, these are the things that we do when we have identity crisis. Moses said unto the O Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servants. I am slow to speech and tongue. And I'm not, he's, look, amen, glory to God, thank you. I, I, I'm not gifted to speak. You know, I, I remember a long time ago, it's not a long time ago, it was just in 2000, amen, glory to God. When, and when I didn't feel that I was adequate enough to speak, I didn't feel that people wanted, was going to have an ear to hear the release of the Lord from my life, out of my belly. I didn't feel, amen, because of, uh, because of the falsehood that I was living in, the lies and deceptions that I was living under, under the enemy. Amen, glory to God. So here is Moses. He's talking about, I don't speak fluently. I'm not someone of persuasive speech. I, amen. My, I don't have a, a, a good delivery. I don't know how to articulate and put words together. I, I'm, I, I'm not a smooth talker. I, amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm slow to speech and tongue. I'm not adequate. I'm not eloquent. I, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not. That's how he was feeling about himself. And I know I used to feel the same. I used to feel the same way, um, um, people of God. Just, I, I didn't feel, amen, glory to God, like I said, that I had anything to say that people would hear. And I'm so glad that God delivered me from that. Because had he not delivered me from that, my God, I would not be able to speak to nations. I would not be able to train. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Train individuals from around the world had I not. My God. Mm, 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 mm. Had I not come into a place where I began to trust, believe God, put my confidence in God, put no confidence in my flesh. Y'all, somebody hear that? Put no confidence in your flesh. Don't put no confidence in anybody else's flesh. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You got to put your confidence in God and in God alone in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. That's your creator. That's who built you. That's who designed you. That's who know 
what you have, what's on the inside of you. He know your capacity. He know your capability. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And he will not call you to anything that is beyond your capability or your capacity in the name of Jesus. And you allow him to do it for your do it for you. He'll he'll give you everything. He giving you everything. It's a time for that thing to be activated in your life, people of God. And God had to tell Moses. He said, "Wait a minute, Moses. Okay." He told Moses. He said, "Who gave man his mouth?" Who makes him deaf or mute? Who gives him sight or make him blind? Is it not I, the Lord? He said, is it not I, the Lord? Uh, uh, Moses, is, uh, I'm the one that does that. My Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God, we... Oh, we got we got to learn. We got to learn. We got we to we gotta learn how to trust. Amen. Trust in God and believe in God. My God, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. So here we go. Amen. Um, his next excuse in verse 13, he said, um, he just began to say, you know what, Lord? He, I mean, he, he got um, <laughs> almost down to the, to the, to the, um, to a thing, to what was really there. Amen, glory to God. Instead of just saying, Lord, I just don't want to do it. But he just said, oh, Lord, please send someone else to do it. How many of us have had that thought? God, send somebody else. This person is more qualified. This person has this. This person that. This, this, that, and the other. How many of us have sat in a place and have just been like, you know what, God, just send somebody else. And God has said, no, I want you. He said, no, I, I'm, I'm sending you. But why? Because God has already assigned us for the job. And so God wants us to be obedient Um obedient and do the work now will he raise up another absolutely amen glory to god thank you jesus that's why we need to go ahead and get ourselves together and in line and do what it is that god has called for for us to do because if he has to raise up another to do what he called you to do oh you're gonna have to deal with you're gonna have to deal with that consequence those consequences mordecai had to tell uh what's her name um mordecai had to tell esther he had to tell it to that sister. He had to make it plain to her. Look, if we're not delivered, if the Jews are not delivered by your hand, I want you to understand that what's going to happen to the Jews is not going to bypass your household. I want you to understand that, Esther. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And he tells her, Amen. But the deliverance of the Jews will come through somebody else. How do you not know that you are where you are for such a time as this? He said, it, look, he said, if you remain completely silent at this time, the relief and the deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. But you and your father house will perish. He said, Yet, who knows whether you've come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Who knows whether you are where you at and God is calling you out to do what he's called you to do for such a time as this. Don't remain silent because you feel as if you are inadequate. You're incapable or insufficient because guess what? You're more than enough. You're more than enough. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God has already given you. God has already qualified you, anointed, appointed you for this thing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. A word let us know at this particular time, God is now just about angry at Moses. 
Because he done told Moses, Moses, I'm going to put the words in your mouth. I'm going to teach you what to say when he, you know, he want to deal with it. It isn't about how he can speak. And then he want to come back and say, when God said, okay, your speech is taken care of. So then he wants to just send somebody else. The word says that God got mad at him. So the Lord, it said the Lord, ang so the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, is not Aaron the Levite your brother? I know that he can speak well. And look, he is coming out to meet you. When you, when you, when he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. A few things to note here. God would not allow Moses to, amen, to deny his purpose. My God. Even though he kept rejecting, he kept rejecting, amen. And as he ran out of excuses, he finally admitted what was in his heart. I, I just say like something I just want to do. My God, but what I love about it. What I love about it. Um, God would not allow him. To deny his call. My God. And so he did um, bring forth Aaron to help him out. But Moses had to still move in that call that God called forth in his life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So here in chapter 4, we see Moses is full of excuses. And, we, and rejecting the call of God for his life. We got to understand, rejecting the call of God is a very serious matter. That God does not take lightly. Why? Because when we did not uh, reject the call of God for our lives, we're denying the delivery of somebody else's promise. Your purpose is to deliver the promise of God to someone else's life. So let us stop making the excuses. Let us come into the identity and who we are in Christ Jesus, people of God. Just because God said it to be so. We are who God called us to be. We can do everything that God has called for, for us to do. Dynamic people of God. So here we go. When you go a little bit further in the text, you got Moses... You got his brother Aaron, amen, glory to God. They're going to confront Pharaoh. They're going to talk, um, amen, um, glory to God, to the Israelites, the leaders, amen. And they find themselves in a place. Where, amen, um, glory to God, that they're going to do what it is that God has called for for them to do. Now, what I love about this here, amen, um, in the text, as I look at Moses over the next previous chapters, I see Moses have developed a non-negotiable attitude. He develops a non negotiable attitude where he is determined to do what God has called for for him to do and he wasn't allowing um, Pharaoh neither was he allowing the Israelites to deter him from doing what God had called him to do Amen. He developed a non-negotiable attitude. He, when he was about his 
father's business even though he was in a place where he still had to go through amen i'm um, glory to god the, the the issues with with pharaoh he even had to go through the issues with the israelite leaders not wanting him to serve them or to help them come out of bondage So he had, my God, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. So just throughout the duration, amen, even in that conversation with the Lord, it said, look, people of God, it, uh, the word tells us that faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God, amen. And so whatever that place is that you feel inadequate, you feel that you may be insufficient to do, go ahead and get the word of God. See what God, the word of God says about that. And just begin to speak it. Just begin to speak it. Just begin to declare it. Amen. Over your life. Let that thing get down on the innermost part of you. Let it get into your heart. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Help us in this place. Glory to God. Dynamic people of God. We're going to. Amen. Know that the lines is open. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to take a break here um, in the church. But know that the lines are open for any prayer requests, comments, or questions that you may have. We are only able at this time to take those things at um, www.inthechurch.com. Um, oh, it's four places. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. At, on the radio station, if you have the radio app, amen, if you download the Kingdom Influencers Broadcast app on your um phone you can go to the in the church tv and radio show that's there and it will lead you right it will definitely lead you to the place where you can speak to us or chat with us amen glory to god thank you jesus right from the app as well i forgot about that and what else if you're on the Spreaker platform, you can chat with us there as well as our In the Church Facebook, amen, um, page. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, but dynamic people of God, glory to God, you can definitely dial in as well at, let's get that number for you real quickly. Um, that number is Five six three nine 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 one eight two four. You can come on and dial in in the church at five six three nine 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 one eight two four. We look forward to hearing from you, dynamic people of God, to what it is that God is speaking to you. If you have any questions or comments or prayer requests, come on and dial in in the church at five six three nine 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 one eight two four. In the majestic name of Jesus, glory be unto God. We're going to take a brief break and we will be right back in the majestic name of Jesus. Glory be unto God in this place. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name. Thank you. 
You can't get in 
Jesus, glory to God. We just bless the name of the true living God in this place. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. People of God, I'm telling you, amen. Get the word of truth. Become a doer of the word. Don't be like, amen. Amen. Over in the book of James, amen, glory to God. It talks about, amen, being don't not just being a hearer but be a doer of the word don't be like one that looks in the mirror and as soon as you walk away from the mirror you forget what you look like amen glory to god because you're supposed to be the mere reflection of the word amen in the name of jesus glory to god let us allow god to heal us from these identity crises so that we would no longer be denying the power of god to move and operate in our lives dynamic people of god in the majestic name of jesus i want to go ahead and give us our shout out for today amen in the name of jesus our five top countries on today we got france in the church thank you for joining us we have um russian federation thank you for joining us in the church on tonight we got the usa in the house bless you ireland is with us on tonight bless you for being in the church tanzania thank you thank you thank you thank you for joining us in the church on tonight in the majestic name of jesus amen amen and amen to god be the glory hallelujah um, to God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, my God. God is determined, people of God, that we no longer live in these identity crises that is hindering us from moving in our call and, my God, being activated in purpose. In Jesus' name. We want to thank you for joining us in the church on tonight. As we have had a phenomenal time, we look forward to greeting you in the church next week. But until then, let us connect on our social media platform. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at In the Church. Also on Twitter at In the Church Live. We look forward to continuing our conversation with you. You can also go to our website at www.inthechurch.com to re listen to this program in addition to email your thoughts, your comments, and any show topic request. So we look forward to connecting with you, dynamic people of God. As always, let us continue to follow the word of truth so that we will be set free. Until next time, people of God, we look forward, amen, to meeting you in the church. Let us go in the love, joy, peace, favor, and the anointing of our most holy Savior, who is none other than Jesus Christ. And it is in his most holy and majestic name that we have convened in the church. Amen, amen, and amen. And 